Oh, hey guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is titled, I just bought my first motorbike. In brackets, don't laugh. You're not laughing, are you? I hope not. This is serious. This is a serious moment. This is a milestone. My very first actual motorbike. With gears and all the rest of it. Takes fuel. It's got indicators. It's got a stand. It's got a motor. A 125cc motor, that is, but still. It gets me places. And it's absolutely perfect for around here in Alice Springs. So, what I want to do today is take it out. I'm going to put petrol in it for the first time. I've been riding it around for the last couple of days, uh, but it is, it's on an empty tank. So I believe it's a 16 litre tank. Um, so we're going to fill it up. We're going to see how much it costs. And uh, then we're going to take it for a blat and give it a, give it a bit of a, a top speed test, you could say. That's going to be a, that's going to be a separate video. Um, and you know, the reason I'm doing this is because I have not actually owned a vehicle myself for like three years. It's been three years since I've actually owned anything. The last thing I owned was a scooter, actually. A 125, or it might have, might have actually been a 150. Uh, 150cc scooter. Prior to that, I did have cars, but um, you know, being that I have minimized my life, minimized my material possessions, and minimized my, trans my mode of transport, um, it was only natural for me to continue in that fashion and, um, and get another bike. So I'm in Alice Springs at the moment. Uh, it's absolutely perfect for around here. The only thing it's not perfect for is obviously taking passengers. I've got two little kids. They do enjoy um, coming on with me just around the, uh, the car park here. And uh, you know, just seeing the joy on their faces means the world to me. So the ability to do that, to take them for rides is wicked. But uh, for me, I needed some wheels. And um, you know, everything is within five or 10 minutes around here in Alice Springs. So it's absolutely perfect. I'm stoked. Uh, you see a lot of these bikes around, the Honda CV125E, I believe. Well, this one's made in 2018. I believe it's called a, a 125F now. I don't, don't, don't quote me on that. I don't know the exact differences. All I can tell you is what um, I've experienced with this one. And so for anyone else out there looking at buying a bike, looking at buying an entry level motorbike, that's not a scooter. That's not an automatic scooter. I mean, this has five gears. It's been a while since I've actually ridden a bike with gears, but uh, it makes for a fun experience. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it so far. So. What can I say? This is my very first motorbike. Uh, like I said at the start, it is, uh, it's a milestone and we can only move up from here. Now I'm not interested in having a rocket ship between my legs, but I am interested in having some sort of a motorbike and I've got that. So it came with a helmet, which I'm super stoked about. The helmet is in size XL, 61 centimeters. And um, stupid me, was riding it around like this for the longest time. Little did I know that I could look like an Air Force fighter pilot if I wanted to. I've got the moustache for it and now I've got the, the visor for it. Either way guys, I'm about to head out, uh, fill it up with petrol like I said and uh, take it for a blat. But uh, you know, YouTube is all about creating memories and and uh, documenting experiences and and um, well, this is just another one. So <laughs> I'm not sure what the thumbnail is going to be. I'm going to try and get the thumbnail now. Actually, uh, how are we going to do that? I'll bring this closer. I mean, the thumbnail is pretty important, right? I am out of practice on YouTube. Haven't made a video for a while. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I'm here now. So let me do this up. Let me go like this and go like this. Nick Minute. Like that, something like that. Fuck if I know. Either way. <laughs> 
Time to go for a ride. Alright, first thing we're going to do is just check the uh, check the fuel. Is that going to go up without me? Yes, it is moving. Okay, so what we've got is um, a failure to communicate, but also what we have is just a bit of pocket change. So I'm going to use, one of the best things about this is the fact that you know it runs on the, the smell of an oily rag, um, you could say. Very, very cheap to run. <clears throat> Petrol prices are only going to continue going up. So in my pocket, I have 20, 25, $26.70. $26.70. I want to, I want to use cash. I want to use use my um, my cash. It's been sitting there for ages, and this would be a good opportunity to do it. So twenty, twenty-six dollars seventy. Let's see. Let's see if we can, we can fill it up, on that. So that is the first assignment, and I believe um, I'm going to get into the petrol kit. Not that I've done it yet, but uh, shouldn't be too hard, should it? All right, guys, uh, the petrol tank is indeed full, as you may be able to see. Now, petrol, for anyone wondering, cost two dollars a litre, and uh, to fill that up just then cost me $17. So it was eight and a half litres. And uh, originally I thought that the tank was 16 litres, but being that it was almost empty and it only took eight and a half litres to fill, I'm thinking more around the, I'm thinking more along the lines of like 12 litres, but I will have to Google that. I haven't even looked. 26 bucks in my pocket and um, lo and behold, I've, I've still got some, $9. What am I gonna spend that on? Well, only time will tell. But uh, yeah, economical. I've been told that a tank can get you upwards of 350 to 400 Ks. I will keep note of that. In fact, what we'll do is reset the speedo. I'm not exactly sure how. I think this has got something to do with it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, boom. All right, so I'll keep a note of that and I'll report back when I uh, when I run out of petrol. I mean, it would probably take a good couple of weeks to even do 400 Ks around here. That's one of the best things about living here is that everything is within, you know, 10 minutes. And I mean, look at the, look at the, look at the, look at the weather, man. This is basically the middle of winter and it's a breezy 25 degrees Celsius not a cloud in the sky, absolutely perfect weather to be riding something like this. And you know, you'll you'll be you'll do well to get like 20 days worth of rain here in any calendar year. So it's the it's it, it really is if you're not taking passengers, it's got to be the perfect mode of transport. And I'm super stoked to get it. I paid two thousand dollars for it uh, with the helmet, it cost me twenty one hundred. These things go brand new I'm led to believe at 3600 so we almost got it at half price it's four years old it's done 3708 kilometers total it's been looked after uh, yeah there's a little bit of fading on uh, the sticker here but as far as scratches or dents or anything it's I mean it's in fucking good condition and that's all I could ask for so I saw a lot of these online over the last couple of months um, a lot of them were red or white or blue. Uh, not a lot of black ones. And I've got to say, man, I love it in black. Black, silver, white. I mean, look what I'm wearing. Black, black and white. Uh, you can't go wrong with black. So I'm really, really happy with it. What we're going to do now is head off down that way. Uh, there's a nice long straight with minimal cars. And I am going to give it a bit of a blat. We're going to get a top speed. Uh, originally when I bought this I thought easy easy it's gonna get up to 100 k's an hour but mm, the more I ride it the the less 
likely that seems. Either way, let's get going. So for anyone wondering, it's, uh, it's in neutral at the moment. It's one down, two up, three up, four up, five up, and then all the way back down. Uh, you can go into neutral from second gear if you are delicate enough. Um, and it's taken me a while to get used to the clutch, uh, to get used to how far out I want to extend it and that type of thing. But I mean, that's, that's teething issues, isn't it? That, that happens when you get into a new car or a new motorbike. I mean, having a clutch on a bike is new to me. That's why I called this video my very first motorbike. I've had plenty of scooters before, but those are all automatic. So uh, it's a new experience, but I, I fucking love it. And um, yeah, let's take it for a spin. easily got up to 80 k's an hour will it get to 85 or 90 let's find out uh, one thing I have realized is that it's not easy to ride a bike change gears and hold a camera at the same time in fact it's fucking dangerous uh, this camera is worth almost as much as it no it's that's not true but uh, it is worth a, about six seven hundred bucks last thing I want to do is drop it so uh, I'm gonna get up to top speed and then I'm going to show you exactly where we're sitting. Right, guys so that by my measurement was 95 kilometers top top speed I held it down for like I'm gonna say over a minute wanted to get up to 100 wasn't gonna happen um, but I guess that sort of brings us to a conclusion guys this is my very first motorbike a Honda a 2018 Honda CB 125e with 4,000 K's on it <sighs> Yeah, yeah, this will do me. This will do me nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's just a bit of fun. As you've seen in brackets, don't laugh. Um, <laughs> I'm probably a little bit too big for this. I'm, I will say, I'm sitting at about 100 kgs at the moment. I feel like if you're, a, if you were, I don't know, 70, 80 kgs, you might actually get it up to 100 k's an hour. In fact, if anyone else has had one of these bikes before or anything similar maybe another 125 or a 150 let me know what the top speed is it's not as if that 
is the be all and end all. But if you want to get somewhere and you want to get there fast, it's good to know that you can actually keep up with traffic, especially on roads like this. Either way guys, that's enough from me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's just a bit of fun. And uh, well, I'll see you soon. All right guys, Ooh, doesn't matter whether you're going 100 k's an hour or 80 k's an hour, you still feel uh, pretty pretty windswept when you get back. All right, so we've put we've put 11.6 k's on the clock. I know I said that I was gonna go uh, and leave you guys before, but there is a couple of couple little notes that I'd like to mention for anyone interested in buying one of these. The first is, and this was surprising to me, but it obviously shows my lack of um, experience with motorbikes there is no room underneath the seat now i've driven plenty of scooters before and they all have at least room for a small helmet normally my helmets are on the bigger side so they don't fit but you know i went to um i went to open this and uh oh where is it oh it's over here i went to open it and i was i was um I don't know, I was a little disappointed. So it comes off like that. And basically, well, it's all, it's all so compact that, um, and the wheel is a lot, I guess, bigger than a scooter wheel. So it's gonna take up a lot of the room underneath the seat. And that's exactly what we've got. Um, so that was interesting. You just place it on. So that's on there again. All right, so that's the first point. The second thing I wanted to mention is the choke. And I've had to use the choke a few times. Um, at the moment, middle of winter, yeah, the days are really nice, but the, the, the nighttime um, gets really cold. Or, I mean, it's not freezing or anything, but you know, two, three, four degrees. And so in the morning, it does take a little bit for it to get going. Um, and so I've had to use the choke pretty much every morning so far. Um, basically it's just as easy as going like that. It ups the revs for as long as you need it. Uh, it means that you don't stall um, or uh, well, basically, yeah, it means that you don't stall when you come up to a light or something like that because if it is cold and it's still warming up, um, there is the risk of, of doing that and then possibly not starting again. So I have used the choke quite a lot. The third and final point I wanted to mention is it's actually got a kill switch, which I've never really had before. Um, and I actually, I accidentally had it on off one morning and here I was trying to start it thinking, fuck, you know, what's happened here? I've just bought it and it's already, you know, showing issues. And then I, and then I saw that and I thought, oh, let's, let's just give it a flick. So it was up there and then I went like that and boom, it started. So I feel like the kill switch is just to preserve the battery, especially if you're going to leave it for an extended period of time, which... Lo and behold, I am going to do. So today, I'm actually heading off to New Zealand for a month. And so uh, what I'm going to do is take it through the house, put it out the back, put the kill switch on, lock it all up, and, um, and say goodbye. So today was fun. Uh, this is the final time I'll use it for the next month. But I've got it for the future. I've got it to uh, make living here in Alice Springs just that little bit easier that little bit more convenient, unless I, I'm gonna take passengers, in which case, and if that happens too often, I may need to get a car, but for now, this is perfect. Thanks for being here, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.